I'm speaking with Dave Newman. Dave, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. So, uh, your a contribution award is for your contribution in, in film music and kind of um, the keeping it alive in today's uh, culture. And uh, I was just talking with James Newton Howard, and I was asking this. I want to ask you the similar question. What do you see? How do you see film music in today's pop culture? I mean, we're seeing a resurgence of concerts. We're seeing a resurgence of performances to live picture. How do you see it as it is now and moving forward? Well. Film music is a rather young Western art form. Um, it's it's essentially been concert music. So it's it's based on Western, you know, opera and concert music. So I think that as it ages and more people listen to it, that it becomes more of a seen more of as an art form rather than a kitschy kind of pop thing. I think I think film music really isn't pop. Music right. is defined by, say, you know, the uh, 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 symphony orchestra of their organization. It's a it's a hybrid because it's concert music that's made for films. And one really important part of this to think about is that billions of people have seen movies right. way more than have gone to concerts. Right. To, all right. So that means that billions of people have heard concert music because film music is. 99% of the time orchestral music with right. you know electronics and hybrids and all things like that yeah. so when people come like when we do these live film events a lot of people come that don't come normally right and they come and they see this and they've heard the music mm -hmm. so they go oh that's what this is this isn't some really weird boring thing that I that I you know not gonna understand and yeah. I, I'm gonna feel really uncomfortable at this is this is concert music oh I know this music I've heard this music in a movie right. you know I'm familiar with it and you know film music really is an art form meaning it has a very intellectual component as well as a visceral component. It's functional because it's written for movies, but the, there's a lot of intellect there, right. and a lot of times the intellect is subver it's subversive. It, you don't want to bring attention to itself. Right. For instance, let's say the the beginning of the movie um, Chinatown, yes. which is scored by Jerry Goldsmith in the '70s. Um, I forget the year. It's scored with four pianos, four harps a trumpet and strings mm -hmm. and there's a reason there's an intellectual reason for that the way the movie starts is all the pianos strum from the top down and it's like right. water rippling down right, right? right, right and right. the harps all play this music what we call a mode of a little bit of a melody mm -hmm. together so it's all it, it's beating against right, each other right, it's right, the, right. And so it's all water and then the trumpet starts playing this noirish theme and the strings go. So immediately in 10 seconds, right. you have the essence of what that movie is about. It's about water and this sort of noirish story. It's sad. It's lonely. You know, it's in a, it's in a made up city, et cetera, et cetera. Right, right. So it, just an example of that, the intellect of what, uh, that people don't generally associate with oh, film music. Absolutely. Oh yeah, it's a good melody. It's fun. It's, it's a, there's a lot of other stuff when you really look into it. And I think as it grows and matures, and universities study it more. More orchestras play it. Uh, I think every orchestra in the world now does a movie night. Right. I, I don't think there's any orchestra that does not do right. it. Um, I think that's what's happening with it. Right. So hopefully it will be presented in a, in a good enough way and uh, it, it, with as much um, uh, uh, as, as well as it can be done so that it, it, it grows. But I see it as a growth thing. There's not a whole lot of product now right it's expensive to do and difficult yeah. to do so yeah and that's why a lot of it's in Europe a lot's in Europe right now I wish more was uh, more on the yeah state there's side. a lot more stateside now I mean I've been I've done every you know there's five really top-notch orchestras in the United right. States I've done all of them multiple times film right live films the whole films yeah. and if there's I started really in earnest around 2008 2009 so now it's 2016 um, there's been a change that I can see in the whole you know and these are the top groups and it all fil you know it filters down right. so. and I can't wait because you're gonna be joining John Williams he's back this yeah. year at the bowl that's gonna be amazing I've done a couple I did a tangle with a few years ago with yeah. John so yeah so, so the concert, yeah, yeah. I, I can't wait to see yeah, it cool Dave thank you so much right, thank you thanks